I said, this is Troy Anthony Davis, and uh, I've been sitting on Georgia's death row for 16 years for a crime I did not commit. It's been a struggle for me and my family, as well as the victim's family, who I sympathize with, really, because they have been cheated out of justice just as I have. They deserve justice more than anyone deserves justice. Because of Amnesty's assistance, as well as Arnold and Porter, you know, I'm still sitting here alive today being able to have conversation. And uh, I want to thank all Amnesty supporters, you know, all the volunteer workers. I want to thank everyone all over the world, you know, who has been praying for me, supporting me, writing letters and signing petitions and things like that. Um, I want to encourage people to continue to sign the Amnesty petitions and continue to write letters and Look into my situation because this situation could have happened to anyone, but it needs to start with me. It needs mm. to continue to let their voice be heard because if their voice had not been heard thus far, the parole board probably would have went ahead and let me be executed. You know, my, my faith in God all these years has, has kept me strong because in any, any other situation, had I not had God in my life and a strong family support base, you know, I would have been given up. You know, out of you know, it's a couple of guys back here that dropping their appeals and saying, you know, they they'd rather go ahead and be executed than spend the rest of their life in prison. And with me, because I have faith that God will eventually intervene and set things right. You know, it kept me strong. It gave me hope. You should never be able to convict a man or even indict a person, man or woman, without any physical evidence, no whatsoever. I would never take another human being's life. And this killer is still out there. My family's in mourning. The victim's family's in mourning. And the truth is still locked in because I didn't get justice. But in DNA cases, you know, that's physical evidence that you can test. I have no physical evidence to test to prove my innocence. But when these witnesses volunteered to come forth because their conscience was bothering them about the lies that they told on me, when they came forth and signed these affidavits, then that was evidence for me to test. When they took me to that death uh, cell for death watch 24 hours before the execution, you know, it, it really affected me and everybody on death row because you had grown men crying because they've heard about my situation. They know I'm innocent. They was like, they said, if I couldn't get no justice, nobody can get justice.